You too. Kick. What can I change? You know who it is. We're going to get right into this. So I want to show you the beginning of this video that I'm going to give my opinion on this Supreme Court decision. And I'll let you know how this kind of decision has impacted my life and my experience with this. So let's just hop right on into it. ...help increase the ranks of the black middle class. But in... It's exactly the opposite. Yes, I, I, I think it is exactly the opposite. Uh, you know, the, the question here was not only... Uh, for me, the, the constitutionality, the dubious constitutionality of racial preferences. I also looked at the harm that these policies were doing to uh, to black students, and 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 so I think, um, you know, we we saw what would happen when they went away, because some states had eliminated race based. Uh, affirmative action in college admissions, like California back in the 1990s. And after California did it, uh, Black uh, uh, enrollment in the University of California system went up. Black graduation rates went up, and not by a little bit. And in the more difficult STEM fields, they went up. So these were good outcomes. You know, th these policies had been put in place to supposedly help increase the ranks of the Black middle class. But in practice, they had been resulting in fewer black doctors and lawyers and scientists than we would have had in the absence of the policy. So I'm, I'm I just want to give you a small glimpse of what's going on, right? So pretty much what happened is, and what people are thinking it happened, two different things. So basically what happened was the Supreme Court had said that what Harvard and UNC were doing about just letting people in basically just because of their skin color was a problem. In fact, this guy had mentioned as well that there was a, a thing that was shown that an Asian guy who had the same grades, same everything else being equal, right? same grades, same kind of experience, right? Same like volunteer hours, stuff like that. So you take an Asian man and a black man had almost equal, almost equal st uh, scores and everything. The Asian had about a 15% of chance of getting into a selective school, which we considered Harvard's, the Dukes, the Yales had a 15% chance of getting in, and the black man with the exact same scores and everything else being equal had a 95% chance of getting in. Here's the problem, and here's here's where I think people are getting it mixed up. Um, and I'm, I'm really going to be curious. If Stephen A. makes his video before we end the stream, we're definitely going to react to it. Um, but here's the thing. I think that letting somebody in just based on their skin color is detrimental. Just like this man was saying, if somebody gets in based on their skin color, if you look at the statistics, they are likely to not even graduate or change to a different degree that has nothing to do with that, right? You have a better chance of a black person graduating from a selective school like Harvard, like your UCLA's and all that. You have a better chance of them graduating from there if you just let them in based on their merit and not based on their skin color. Because when you let somebody based in on their skin color, you have a way more likely chance that they're not even going to make it to graduation because their scores weren't high enough to get into school in the first place. You simply pick them only because they're black, right? And another argument that was, 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 was what Harvard was having was they wanted a diverse freshman class. And having a diverse freshman class meant there was less diversity when they graduated, Right? Because those black kids and those those black kids and those brown kids that you let in at the very um, in their freshman class were not making it to graduation, and it's or they were switching to another major that had nothing to do with what they had originally gone in there for. So you got people going in there for absolutely no reason. And here's why I think, we, like I said before, here's how you find who the real racist people are. In fact, I have something I want to show you guys. See if I got it up right now. Something very. I love what's going on today. People are just saying the saying the loud part, saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> People are saying it. Okay, let's see if I have it up first. Before. Nope. Hold on. Let me switch this over. A lot of clicking. <laughs> A lot of clicking. Um. Oh man, I'm not even gonna say what this thing says because. This is the quiet part out loud. This is what we've been trying to tell you guys. Looks at this. Erica Marsh. Now this person, oh, this person has been very difficult. Um, this person, I've seen her Twitter and she's very against conservatism and all that kind of stuff. 
Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct, a direct attack on black people. No black person will be able to succeed in a merit-based system, which is extremely why affirmative action-based programs were needed. Today's decision is a travesty. And here's one of the top comments. So basically, you think we're stupid and we cannot get into university based on merit. That is what conservatives have been trying to explain for to minority communities for generations. The ones claim to help are the real racists. I have to agree, man. And this is why I just I just think that people really always want it to be we got to help the black people do black things. Black people are successful at other colleges. Y'all know that, right? Who do you think has the highest um, graduation rate with uh, being in STEM? I mean, science, technology, engineering, and math. Who do you th what schools do you think are having the highest graduation rates? The schools that are letting random black people in because they're black? Or schools like uh, HBCUs? HBCUs have plenty of black people graduating there, and they're not doing anything based off of color. Black people just happen to go there. And those guys are graduating with STEM degrees and doing just fine in life. Because what does it mean to be black? Oh, man, I, I got into Harvard because I'm black, but I failed. Right? Because my grades would have never got me in had they not considered my race. But if I was black and I got into Harvard and my grades and my, my scores and everything else got me into the school, I'm way more likely to succeed. Does that not make sense? Hold on. I didn't say this thing shaking like crazy. I'm going to move this thing over. Shaking my... Oh, we'll monitor. Okay. So why can't we just allow for that? Why can't we allow black people to succeed on their own merit, their own character instead of the color of their skin? Instead, we want to just keep doing this whole race baiting thing and saying, hey, you know what? <laughs> black people will never get into Harvard if we're just going to go off that. Because what Michelle Obama has said, Michelle Obama had went ahead and said that, Oh, well, what about the guys who are getting in um, because they know the football coaches and the uh, people who had money and the people who uh, had money to take the better tests and all that kind of stuff? You know what's so funny about that? I'm so glad you brought that up, Michelle. You know, there are white people and Asian people who also um, didn't have money and all those kind of stuff that couldn't get into those big schools, but succeeded at better schools. Uh, not better schools, but they succeeded at other state schools. Your universities, your Minnesota, Minnesota State Universities, right? Because you're saying pretty much that if a black person can't get into Harvard because they don't have the money or they don't have an in with the coaches or something, or Yale can't get into you know, your BYUs and all that, you can't get in there because you don't know the coaches and stuff, then you're a failure. Why does it just because if you don't go to those schools and you're black that it means you failed? Why, what, what's wrong with a black person going to Michigan State University and succeeding and being fine in life? That's what's wrong with today's people. People are always trying to get this stupid status. When I hear some a black man who graduated from Harvard, am I impressed? Yes, if he got in because of that. Because it's too rare for a black person to get into like a Harvard for no reason other than being black and graduating, right? Am I impressed if a black guy gets out of Harvard? Yes, but am I like... Thinking that's like a, am I, do I think of him way higher than I would somebody who graduated from Michigan State University? No, I wouldn't. I really don't care because at the end of the day, after you graduate, what you, just, what you decide to do with your life is pretty much your own decision at that point. Now, a person from Harvard maybe have some more connections, more networking at the very end, but that doesn't mean that a black guy who's a doctor who graduated from a state university and a black guy who's a doctor who graduated from Harvard doesn't mean neither both of them aren't doctors. This guy who went to the state university could be just as successful as a doctor. Now, let's get over to who this was really affecting. Asian people. Asian people who had the test scores and everything to get in were not getting into these schools because they were so quick to accept black people before they were willing to accept anybody else. Asians were getting harmed by this, and that's what really got this whole thing sparked is that Asian people were feeling like, man, I'm not getting into school simply because I'm an Asian person. Is that not racist? I'm not getting in because I'm Asian and you're black. Because you're black, you have an advantage over me. And why, I don't understand why people are so upset about the decision because the decision didn't overturn anything. The decision pretty much said that you cannot, and they were talking to Harvard and UNC basically, you cannot just let a person based on their skin be the prominent thing you do. You can't have a quota. Pretty much. But they did not say you cannot consider race as a factor. It is. It's still you can still do that. 
they are simply saying that if we start seeing these numbers and these quotas seeming like you're letting these people in based off their color, there's a problem. That's unconstitutional. You're pretty much letting people in based off of nothing but the color of their skin just to be a diverse class. Black people, can we just can we just for once just see that they're not trying to help us? Can y'all can we not see that? That people who talk about us black people as if we're the dumbest apes on the planet, I understand there's black kids right now who are graduating high school who who have an eighth grade education, meaning they didn't really learn anything through high school. Their scores will tell you that. And why do you think that is? Because we're so quick to just let black people graduate that we clap and cheer just for that reason. We're not trying to actually help the black community. We simply want to just say you're black, you've been oppressed, get to it. We're just gonna we're just gonna push you on through. It's such a joke, man. Because, you know what, and I'm really, one more time, I want to listen to what Stephen A. said, because look at how successful Stephen A. Smith is, and guess where he graduated from? A state university. He did not graduate from Harvard. Believe it or not, he didn't. Shannon Sharp did not graduate from a Ivy League school. Guess where he graduated from? Oh, a state university. Both millionaires. Both. One was successful in football and successful in the, um, media industry and then one was successful as a journalist moved his way all the way up and now owns his own tv show on the espn getting paid millions of dollars to do things you didn't graduate from harvard so why are you saying that a black person who did, couldn't do what you do they have to graduate from harvard to be successful now in fact when you really look around at all the media people we know personally let's take our denzel washington's and stuff like that even our will smith's taking outside his all, all his family stuff where did they graduate from did they graduate from harvard Name me, can you even name a black person right now, today, who graduated from Harvard that you know personally? Or can you name a black person that graduated from Harvard that you know who is famous and is very successful? Do you know any? Because honestly, I cannot think of one black person right now that I know who graduated from an Ivy League school that is as famous as the people I just named. As your Stephen A's. As your Kendrick Perkins. As your Shannon Sharps. Right? Candace Owens. And I know people don't like her, but still, it's successful. Can you t tell me about those people? I'm just confused. And then we have plenty of white people who are successful who didn't go to those universities. So what is it, what is this merit that you have to do this kind of stuff? I'm just so weirded out with all this. And they just said that a black person is not going to succeed based off of merit. That's a problem. Because we've seen them in other places. When you hire somebody based off their gender you base it off of their race and not based off their merits they're normally bound to fail because they haven't worked to get where they need to get i don't i just don't understand why a black person would feel like a failure if they don't get into harvard would you rather get into a school based off your color or not all right let's get let's get to my story i'm a black man i got into a i got into a private school and you know how i think i got in there because i'm black <laughs> because my scores were not even close. My scores were not even close. And here's the thing, guys. Had I not gotten into that school, I would have not been upset. Now, I know that they let me into that school because I was a black man, and I ended up getting into honors college because I knew the reason I got in basically, basically was because I was black. But you want to know the truth? I got into an engineering program, guys. Engineering. And I found out very quickly that that was the stupidest decision I could have made because I did not, I was, I, I could not excel in that degree program. You have to get accepted into that program. And a part of it was because I was black and I would have failed out of that school had I stuck with engineering. That's just the truth. I'm a pretty bright guy, but we all have our gifts and engineering wasn't mine. And that school was one of the top engineering schools in the country. So it wasn't like they were teaching engineers and those kids were just coming out normal kids. These kids were going on to do major things. In fact, one of the kids that graduated from this college went to Shark Tank. Went to Shark Tank and actually got a deal and is making millions coming from the same school that I was at. But they were a great engineer. So I ended up having to become a uh, pre-med student and I was doing well over there. I could do well in biology, chemistry, but I, when it came to engineering, and more importantly, math, I just was a failure. I'm sorry to tell you that. It just wasn't going to happen. And so I'm so, and so that's what is happening like with Harvard and all those other places. They end up getting into these schools and have to switch majors because it's too hard. 
So like I said, I would have failed that school had I stuck with engineering. It was so over my head. And I understand being ambitious. And a black person such as yourself may want to get into these schools and be like, I'm going to make it. Okay, but you're not an idiot if you don't. You just didn't have the skills or the education to make it at this school like I didn't. I There was no way. Very few people at my school where I grew up, and I grew up at an all-white school, guys. Very few of those kids would have made it at this school, let alone me, because I wasn't a good student. I graduated at the bottom of my school. Sorry, I graduated at the bottom of my class in high school. In case you don't know that, I graduated the bottom of the bottom. I was one of the worst students at that school because I just hated school. And I still got into a private college because I'm black. I would have failed out because I did not build those skills in high school. But they were going to let me in simply because I was a black man. That's not a good thing. I would have honestly, if I could do it all over again. I know I would have succeeded at that school, and I did. But all things considered, I would have, because my dream was not to get into this school. I'm being honest with you. It was a miracle that I got in, because I was one of the few black people that got in. But in another part of the reason I think I got in is because I grew up in the same city the college was in. That also probably helped as well. Not only was I black, I was a black kid who grew up in that same city, right? So I was going to be a rags to riches kind of thing, even though I, I never came from rags. But one thing I would have, I, like I said, I would have rather had gone to a community college because I know I would have been way more successful there. Right. Even though I got into honors college, I still believe had I gone to a community college first, I would have been I probably would have been better at engineering or at least got a better base because I would have been able to start slowly instead of. Right, my very first engineering classes. Hey guys, let's build this thing. And we were doing so much. We were in this mechanical. I was just so lost because I had never really touched anything mechanical in my life. Right? I was doing mechanical engineering. And it was crazy. It was crazy hard. Had I started at a community college, I'd have been able to slowly ramp myself up. And I think I would have just been a better college student overall. Because another thing that ended up happening is I did get into another school, right? And I was way in over my head. I, I was in engineering physics. And that's when I knew. When I took engineering physics is when I knew that this was a stupid decision that I made. And I should have never been let into this program. It was so over my head. that It's not even like, oh, I could have just figured it out. You know how it would have took me so much work, so much time to get into to understand this engineering physics that I would have failed all the rest of my classes. That's how far I was behind. Because I had no base. A lot of these kids who go into the engineering have some background, who are the successful ones, have some background in engineering. My buddy, we didn't go to school at the same time, but he graduated an engineer. But when he was 15 years old, he had built an entire dune buggy from scratch. If y'all don't know what a dune buggy is, it's like an off-road car. Just consider that. And he drove it to school every day for like three years. And he built it from scratch. I'm talking about nothing. We had He had the floorboard and built it all himself, welded it all, got the engine, put the whole engine together, everything. That sounds like somebody who's good at what they do. Me, you know what I was doing? I was playing Zelda, okay? I was playing Zelda. That's what I was doing. I could, I could barely learn how to turn on my Nintendo 64, let alone build a whole Doom buggy, okay? I should have never been in that program, guys. But I think I would have been more successful had I started at community college or a state university that wasn't private, and I would have been a much better student. And I think that would have changed the course of my life. But we are where we are now. I'm glad for, I'm thankful for the life I have now. I'm thankful for where I'm at. Thank God. But at the same time, I just feel like I would have been more successful than I am today currently. I really think I should have went to school to do what I'm doing now, which is talking. But that probably would have been a useless degree. So anyway, thank you for another opinion podcast. You can't, it's hard to think of any really people who were Harvard graduates because every time I watch TV and I'm a sports guy, I watch a lot of sports and I watch a lot of politics. I don't see, hear these people going, oh, I graduated from Harvard. And uh, I'm successful because it, that doesn't equal success today. There's a lot of people who don't even go to college who are very successful mainstreamers. QXQC, if y'all don't know who that is, and I'm going to get up out of here. For you people who are not into this kind of stuff, XQC is a live streamer who just got paid $100 million to live stream, okay? I'm not here to say he's not a hard worker because to be a live streamer, you have to put in 
sometimes 14 hour days for years to get where you are. But that young man was sleeping in somebody's couch a couple years ago. He was not some Harvard graduate. This kid was just a live streamer. Now he has a hundred million dollars. Here we are. And I'm not saying every live streamer is a good person, but I'm just saying that this young man has a hundred million dollars making more money than any of us will ever see. And he never went into a school. There are black YouTubers today that we see that are very successful. I know black YouTubers that are making well over six figures who just make videos on the skills that they have. And they graduated from East State University. We see it all the time. You can succeed without all that stuff. Black people don't see this as a racist mark that you can't get into school just because you're black. If you really believe you have a skill that can really go on far, go to a state university and prove everybody that it does work because you don't need a Harvard graduate degree, especially in today's social media and all that. You really don't need a degree from Harvard to be it, to be successful. Now, to get a Harvard degree does not mean you're not successful. It's still impressive. But to me, I don't know. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Peace.